Hello, this is Doug Brook at Northstar DHI Services. Today we're going to be talking about user-defined fields. To provide more flexibility in PC Dart, there are 10 fields available for each cow or heifer to store information specific for that herd. Some of the examples of possible user-defined field values would be purchase price or source of purchase cows. Today we're going to be using a user-defined field 10 to store the sex of the calf as determined by vet check and a second preg check for any animal. To start, we have to go to our input desk. We have to then assign titles for user-defined fields. We are going to use user-defined field 10 today. We are going to have to give that a title, sex of calf. Since it's only three characters wide, I just have to abbreviate the word calf, then we'll say done. And now we're going to cancel. So we have set up user defined field 10 to store our sex of calf as determined by vet check. Back at the input desk, choose user defined fields. I'm going to use cow number 1577. Apply that individually. And in my user defined field 10, I can use B for bull or H for heifer. And then I would say done. I can also do the same thing with another cow, say 1694. I'll apply individually. I'm going to be using user defined field 10, which is sex of the calf. And I could either do bull or heifer or male or female. So then that would be done. To make that information useful to you, you can see that in the cow record for cow number 1694 in the user defined fields. So she will be having a female calf when she does calve. Another important place to be able to put that information would be in reports. So if I went to my dry cow report, I'll go ahead and edit my dry cow report. And I'm going to use database item 254, use defined field 10. Just a preview that would have then if there were values in the use defined field 10 for any one of these animals, it would show up here in this column. I'm going to save that. I probably would also want to put that in my close-up dries. I'm going to edit that close-up dry report. I am going to add 254, which is my database item for user-defined fields. If I just wanted to look at that, I know it's going to be here. Then I would close that. And I'll save that report. One other piece of information that might be important to a producer when a cow calves would be, is she pregnant with twins or not? If I look at cow number 1394, and I'm going to call her pregnant with twins, or even verified pregnant with twins, we'll say OK. And then we'll say done. Once I've entered that piece of information in, it's important to be able to bring it back out again. So here we have a close-up dry report. I'm going to edit that. And I'm going to add database item 365, which would be pregnant with twins. Take a look at that. Two animals that have been diagnosed pregnant with twins they are going to be showing up on this report for cows that are due to calve in the next two weeks. So I save that. Being able to use user-defined fields in PC Dart to store other information that's not readily available in the PC Dart program. In this case, we're using user-defined field 10. You can use any one of the other user-defined fields if you need to. Just to store pieces of information, this time we're looking at the sex of the calf that was determined by vet check. This is Doug Brook at Northstar DHI. My office phone, 1-800-471-3045. My cell phone, 517-281-8547. Email me at 
Brooke D at NorthStarCooperative.com.